Hi. And we are from an organization called Black. No, you should have said we are the Simpsons. <laughs> and we are the Simpsons. That's okay, right. Sir. I got We're that. An organization called Black History Studies. Okay. Yeah, and we educate the community to educate themselves. All right, I love that. I also have a radio show called um, The Message in the Music Show on Colorful Radio in London. Okay, big up Colorful Radio. Yes. I love colorful radio. I listen to colorful radio all the time and it colors my day. All right, good. So, um, what we do is we play a lot of your music because you're inspirational. Oh, thank you. Inspirational. Thank you. So, we want to thank you for your contributions to music and black history in general in the UK because, as we see, you are a living legend. Yeah? Merciful thanks. Right, so, we've just got a few questions for you. And the Ask first, away, my brother. The first Yes. But what inspires you to keep going? Um, I'm inspired by the fact that my work is not yet done. Um, my aim has always been to um, alleviate the, the burden of reggae that's played outside of Jamaica, especially in the UK, uh, in the struggle to become not equal but as um, recognized and as appreciated not by the rest of the world but by the people in Jamaica because um, they are to know that by our efforts we have carried the reggae torch to places that it might not have reached had we not been torch bearers and um, I think a little bit of acknowledgement would go a long way to making us feel the brotherhood and sisterhood. Absolutely, brother. So, back in the day when you were starting off, mm -hmm. 50 years ago, right. Right, um, which artist was it from back then that inspired you to be the greatest? Well, I, hap I happen to be fortunate enough to have been in the band that backed Pat Kelly, rest his soul, in the band that backed Johnny Clark on his first European tour, in the band that backed Ken Booth in 1974, in the band that backed Derek Morgan, Nicky Thomas, and many more, and that band was called Matumbi. And we were in the forefront of making people realize that reggae was appreciated and could be played in the UK by people who had never been to Jamaica, perhaps. Fantastic. Yeah, and Matumbi. Don't get me started on Matumbi because there's some great songs coming from... Thank you very much because uh, at, at the, um, the commencement of Matumbi, I went to search for a man called Newton Jones, who I knew to be the heaviest one-drop drummer in our neighborhood, and invited him to join my new band. And the rest of the members were, um, they were much younger and didn't know about that man. And, and, and I thought, if we're going to be a reggae band, the first thing we need to have is a good reggae drummer. And he was in Battersea, in the 60s, 70s, the man that could play drums. He came from Jamaica, he was a drummer, and uh, we were fortunate enough to have him play drums on no less than Caught You In A Lie by Louisa Mark, After Tonight by Matumbi, The Man In Me by Matumbi, and those three records are a landmark in um, <clears throat> the revolution of making reggae in London and making it playable by sound systems. Uh, because before then, if you didn't have that something, the sound systems would, you know, sidestep your recording and you know you might be paid some lip service but you wouldn't be played on their sound system uh we were fortunate enough to be friends of the man lloyd coxon who 
gave me the opportunity to show how good a bass player I was, how good a keyboard player I was, how good a guitarist I was. And um, together, we collaborated on the very first single of Louisa Mark, Rest Her Soul. And that song was called Caught You In A Lie. Now, I don't know, through the test of time, it's been very well appreciated. And I just want people to know, Newton Jones played the drums and I pretty much did the rest of it. I mean, our singer, the singer from Matumbi, played the scratch piano on the, the you know, the first recording of it. But um, because Lloydie Coxon was a part of the production and he played it on his sound system, I think people presumed that it was recorded in Jamaica because he had a slogan that said, we don't play English music. We only play strictly from Jamaica, right? And this was him eating his own words because this was recorded in the UK in a studio called Gooseberry in Chinatown. And um, there it was, top of the sound system charts, courtesy of Lloydie Coxon. Therefore, that showed me that if the right person played your tune, the people didn't really care where it came from. And I exploited that. You know, I exploited that up until when I made Silly Games with Janet Kay. That was my next question. And that bust the whole thing wide open. No one ever believed that a young girl from Wembley could top the charts with such a pop reggae tune that that happens to be right now the anthem of Lovers Rock. Yes, definitely all around the world. Worldwide. I know for a fact. I make no apology. Yeah, and I know for a fact, in, you must know this as well, in Japan, they have um, uh, Janet Kay sound alike competitions. Absolutely. Singing that song. I know, I've, I've been around Japan for many years and I've produced quite a lot of Japanese artists. In fact, the first Japanese artist I produced was um, a man called Ruichi Sakamoto. Ruichi Sakamoto was the big don of a group called Yellow Magic Orchestra. And um, his first solo album, which is a, an album called B2 Unit, was recorded in my studio in 1980. And from there on, quite a lot of, you know, Japanese groups. In fact, there is one Japanese group that's called Audioactive, and they've named themselves after one of my albums. That's how serious it is now. All right, so let, let me get to this question then. Because um, you just did a show with Brother Winsley Ford. Man. And fantastic show. You Are you me? Babylon Must Fall. Yes. So because my show, Right. How important is it? That is the message. Listen, when I wrote that song, uh, we were together in uh, Argentina, and I came back to London and voiced that tune with some youths from Italy. And we were in a place called Ferrara. When they said to me, we're gonna make a video, I'm going, what, now? I went, yeah, we went looking for a location. I found a location where there was a mural on the wall where the Pope was crying and his tears were painted black. And I said, this is where I want to do this video. When we put the video up on YouTube and it's up with Dennis Bovell and Roots United, the group is called, and they're Italian kids. When we put the video up, miraculously, the Pope resigned. I'm not saying we had anything to do with that, but he may have heard what we were singing about and thought, let me get the hell out of here, because Babylon are far. Fantastic. So the message in the music is definitely paramount. Mate, the lyrics of that tune are, Babylon must fall, fall, fall Babylon. Righteous is the writing on the wall. Babylon must fall. The wicked that go feel it and ball, fall, 
Fall Babylon warrior I go respond to me call Babylon must fall The lions been crowned the kingdom I go get mall fall Fall Babylon come together one and all Babylon must fall and then you know what inspired it because I heard someone go oh they're Rastafarians I thought what's the word fair doing in there them is not Rastafarian them is Rastafari so I wrote the I am an Rasta fear no one earth rightful ruler fear no one he said I am the I am that I am the I am an Rasta man Conquering lion of the tribe of Judah That I am, yes I am Bringing peace and love from Africa to every nation Salaam Walaikum You hear me? Yeah, I'm preaching I'm saying about our ancestors And in the second verse I go When Jah created man in the image of his likeness Love was number one His gift was dominion over all things In the air, sea and on the land But because we were deceived by the devil Falling foul to his evil plan We were banished from the garden of Eden And that's when war began Destined to die Struggling to get by Plagued by self-destruction Fighting against each other For senseless ignorant reasons Disrespecting every nation African, European, Indian nation Murdering in the name of the Lord Forced to pay a price that we can't afford Let me tell you Oh, Babylon must fall, 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 Babylon. Righteous is the writing on the wall. Oh, Babylon must fall. Me the wicked are go feel it and ball, fall, fall, Babylon. Warrior are go respond to me call. I tell you, oh, Babylon must fall. The lion's been crowned the kingdom I go get mall fall Fall Babylon come together one and all Oh Babylon must fall Let me say What the world needs is unity One love, one aim, one destiny Peace and goodwill to all No matter how big, how small Time is short, so let's stand tall, rejoice. Babylon must fall. Come again. Oh, Babylon must fall, and etc., etc. Fantastic. Listen. I'm yeah. Of I've a chant on Babylon, my brother. In terms of the message in the music. That's it right there. That's it right there, brother. So, um, um, what can I say to you? Um, after that, I am speechless. That is fantastic. What advice was given to you as a young and upcoming artist that you believe helped shape your career? Well, the first advice I received was from my father, who said, if you're going to be a musician, you will probably never eat in a decent restaurant. And I was like, yeah, he goes, you know how many musicians are broke and destitute, irrespective of their talent? Because as time goes on, they will forget you and go for the next you that I go on, right? And then you will be just a relic. So, upon that advice, I armed myself with lots of things I could do in the music business. I thought, if I can't work as a guitarist, then I can work as a bass player. If I can't work as a bass player, then I can work as a keyboard player. If I can't work as a keyboard player, I can work as a drummer or a bass player. And I availed myself of how to do all those things. And now, I'm singing! <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Yes, so the advice inspired you to make sure that you yes. were the best at the craft. Well, it, it, 
it, it, it inspired me to do my best in any aspect, you know, of the music business. And so that I could give my dad a copy of every record I'm gonna go, here you go, daddy. This is my latest plate. And he would give me advice because my dad is a big musician, you know, he goes, well, you're a bit out of tune there. And the rhythm wasn't, it could have been more faster or it could have been slower. And, and I appreciate all that because at least my dad knows what I'm doing. Yeah. Don't give up, don't give up. The Roman soldiers of Babylon are here to fight us. That's the lyrics of Inner Circle, Jacob Miller. Don't give up, don't give up. The Roman soldiers of Babylon are here to fight us. Ba 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 ba. Earl Tina Smith, love you. Listen, Inner Circle have been some of my closest friends from a long time. And I was a big, big fan of Jacob Miller and everything that his voice touched. I was sad when he went missing. But Jacob, you may be gone, but I don't forget you. All right, so one more question for you, Uncle. Um, then it's Uncle Ali. And the question is, the, um, what is the differences between the music business back then and back now? There is no difference. The music business has always been dogged with pirates, thieves, and people that misrepresent the artist. I wish it would stop. So would you say that it's easier to navigate now or, or more harder to navigate now? It's more difficult to navigate now because there are many more pitfalls. So be careful, my young artists out there. Be very careful. Don't sign no contract. Make agreements. Because contract, the first syllable of that word is con. Okay? So don't make no contract. And I'm in a man gave no contract. But you're, you can make agreements where you agree and the other side agree. And make agreements. No contract. Well, I want to give a message not only to the people of the UK, but the people everywhere. Stand firm and be vigilant against the wolves out there. Remember Dennis Brown said, Wolves and leopards are trying to kill the sheep and the shepherd. I'm a shepherd and I have plenty of sheep. And I don't want no wolf come kill my sheep, you know, because you see me? Hey, wolf, beware, you know, as I am the shepherd. No wolf can but I trouble my sheep. Otherwise, y'all go weep, wolf. Give thanks. It was my pleasure. It, you know, I like to share my experiences of the past so that the future can be better. If, if a man never have a machet, him couldn't chop down no way for no man walking. You know. Consider me as a machet. Now cut the part, youths. Humble yourself and follow Wagwan, right? Because three score and ten, you know. Remember, three score and ten. My past three score, my depth on the ten now. And I want to give you the benefit of my experience. Humble yourself, my children. Humble yourself. In the words of the burning spear. Ja! Rastafari. That's it. Hey, hey, stop that.